Hello everyone and welcome back to Fortnite Advance. So almost I got 100 levels in 10 days and that wasn't really that hard like it doesn't take anything from you but firstly guys you need to have saved all it. Yeah this is my main method of uh, you know leveling up fast. There's also other methods I will explain them at the end of the video but my main method is literally just playing saved all it. I will explain now how do you get the max XP and save the only this is only 121 this is actually the, not the max xp you can get you get up to 161 and they will try to explain it now and let's say you are opening save the for your first time what you're gonna do firstly go to map by clicking on here go to the lowest one stone wood by the way all of them giving the same amount of xp so it doesn't matter if you are playing at this map or this map so just play the easiest one, which is Toon Wood, okay? Once you click on this map, you can play any of these maps, okay? This is kind of the fastest. Uh, this is also, this one is not bad, like, yeah. But uh, every time you play one of these uh, maps, you will get up to 15 to 20,000 per game. This is how much you can get per game. But 20,000 XP and you will, you will have to play literally 14 minutes to be able to get that, which is not recommended. So the, the second method which I am using is by going here. This is your home base and you can actually play something called Endurance Max Wave. You can play that by either two ways. The first method actually recommended for the people that didn't play Save the Orlid at all and this is literally their first time to play Save the Orlid. So what you're gonna do is clicking on your home base like that. Then you will go to here which is War Games Assessed. You will press launch. And then you have to wait for someone else, like you know, searching for help, and you will join him uh, into the lobby. Then you will play together this storm shield. By the way, it's not necessary to be uh, 30 waves, so it mi it might be only two waves. And this is my biggest problem. Like this guy might not playing the 30 wave; he might playing something else. What you're gonna do? You're gonna start your st the storm shield with these guys, and then you will stay AFK. Maybe you can ask the the leader if actually you need help or not because some people doesn't need help what you're gonna do is just you know press uh, auto move and stuck yourself into a wall or something then just go afk maybe you can ask the leader if this afk map or not because some people actually doesn't have a good map so they might need help for you so you you, ha you should ask them first before you go afk because he might need your help and you can that you know make it harder for them if you go afk so this is the first method the second method actually and the second method guys is literally the best method ever because you don't need help from someone else and you don't need to ask if you can go afk or not you don't need actually to wait until you get into law into a lobby with someone you can literally just start it by yourself like by clicking at home base and then go to my storm shield but firstly you need to pass all the 10 storm shield of your home base and once the game starts guys you will notice that this is actually your home base and this of, of course there is other uh, amplifiers there and there you need actually to build and to notice where are the huskies come from so let's say this is the first location where the husks come from and at this area so I'm trying to, you know, protect this area with traps. This is this is why I only use traps, and I'm using this awesome trap. So I don't really need to do anything. I just use these traps as my first line. So once the husks spawn here, they all get destroyed. Then I also do other uh, lines from, uh, you know, protection. But it's not really really that uh, that necessary because already my first line destroy all the husks. And the only the few has that can pass th these traps will destroy them so let's show you now guys what exactly how this works you go you come here to this uh, location and you access storm shield then you need to storm shield endurance you click on that then you will start this one remember if you already didn't pass all the all the tennis storm shield you will ask you first to pass them so by passing them you can build this storm uh, easily and I will try to explain in another video how to build it exactly because this video will be super long if I if I explained how to build it and how to get material as, as well because you know to build these traps like to build these traps you need of course uh, materials and you need to craft them from here you need multiple stuff to be able to get these traps and they will explain that in another video if you want you can just ask me in chat 
and how to get every material possible to build it by the way it's not that hard at the beginning i thought it's really hard but it's not so simply you will come to here and access then press here if you need help you can just a check mark on that but of course the party must not must be public uh, my party now is private that's why i cannot wait for help so i will start endurance and in exactly 20 seconds the husk will be start attacking my base and normally they will start from the area that uh, here at this area i mean and of course they have this purple thing on the map where the husk is spawned so what you're gonna do is actually by building it, you build it by one by one. You start here. Uh, if the if the traps is not effective, you can build more traps. So as you can see, the husk when the husk spawn, all of them just get destroyed, like that. If one has fast, the second line of uh, defenses will destroy that. So what normally I do, I just go to my home base and just stay here and. Just go play other games or do other stuff because I don't really need to play. I just go AFK and wait until maybe two to three hours. I think two hours and a half, and you will get 161,000 XP by just doing that. You literally stay AFK here and doing nothing. Then you will back later in maybe two hours or something, and you will find yourself having 161,000 XP because, as you as you can see, guys, the husks. They are, they are killed by traps I'm using and I don't really need to play the game so that's really nice and there's actually guys a better method if you want to get more XP and this method is easy but the only problem you have to play the game you cannot just go FK and get XP you have to play so you're gonna play here at first night and this one and then you choose any map let's say uh, this one at 128 this one at 100 I will go for the lowest one then I will start it playing with other player. Of course, you have to make your party public first. My party is private. If your party is private, you will play alone in the in the lobby, and this will be really bad because you need other people because you cannot pass this alone. So you just leave and start it with other people. And once you start, and this map, guys, is kinda similar to home base. You need also to uh, defend your partner, which is kinda your home base in this map, and you simply need to craft some traps also use your weapon and stuff uh, and protect your home base and once you've done this uh, actually uh, you need to pass 30 waves and after passing all the 30 waves you will be surprised by the amount of XP you can get okay let me show you guys okay open the chest this is uh, not what I'm talking about okay 113 thousand xp from playing this map and literally you need uh, 100 uh, one hour and 20 minutes to pass all the 30 waves which is really really nice like one hour and 20 minutes is not a big of a deal and also get uh, a free loading screen from that which wow <laughs> And by the way guys, I don't forget my XP from the battle rail, so what I am doing every day is going to, uh, you know, uh, Team Rumble. And, and once you guys you start the game in Team Rumble, you can simply either go AFK and wait for your team mass to complete the quest for you. Because if you checked your daily quest now, you will notice that you have too many quests. Instead of 3, you have now 12 different quests. So simply either wait for your team mass like, to complete these quests for you. Uh, if your team match good, they might do it uh, fast, like every time I start Team Rebel, they just do it in the first 3 minutes. If they are not, you can done it yourself by choosing which is the easiest quest for you. Let's say Ignite Opponent is the easiest quest for you. You get Thumpsing and Ignite other player. Maybe swim at these 3 areas, but this one is kinda harder, so Outlast Opponent is also hard in Team Rumble. So you literally just... This choose like they this one if you already started the game you can just go there and destroy the structure also build the structure at the same area you can you know choose the easiest quest let's say hit weak point this one is also super easy so you go and start hitting weak points and this is how easily i'm done my daily quest every day i just go to team rumble and literally i done all the three quests in one game by choosing which is the best or the easiest quest and sometimes my friend or my teammates help me by doing that and i'm literally 180 by buying no tears 
there's also guys other methods where you can simply level up fast and i will tell you quickly how you can done these methods uh simply the first one is going to creative and start creative match and just stay afk in creative but remember in creative you need to activate auto run because if you count it as afk you might get kicked from the game and you will not get the xp you want so you go into creative and say fk for one hour and 15 minutes and you will get tons of xp from that also you can use some of the xp glitches because there's too many xp glitches in creative even though i don't really recommend that i'm 180 almost i did it i did only one xp glitch but it wasn't a big of the deal so i am 180 without using any xp glitches you can be just like me simply by doing the method i, uh, I explained in the beginning and also don't forget guys because we every week we will have the season quest and this quest uh is quite easy not all of them but most of them actually quite easy let me choose uh battery so you can see the quest uh yeah so uh as you can see this is my uh, literally my season quest i didn't die in my season quest yet and if i done those i should be at least 183 or 4 and which is really nice by completing all these quests i will try to complete them today so i become maybe level 200 in three four days max and also guys i will not forget about that uh, the milestone quest because the milestone quest is also some of them are quite quite easy like let's say thank the bus driver i do this every so now i thanked him 68 times over 70 wow and also there is other type of quest which is let's say harvest material this one is quite easy you can run it easily uh, there's also other type of uh you know like uh vending machines purchases this one is also super easy i explained it in another video and once you complete 10 stages every 10 stage you get bonus of 20,000 xp which is not bad at all and finally the shanta quest shanta quest also each quest give you 20,000 xp i didn't complete those but for the people that doesn't have theodore you can complete those because you also you you unlock the armor and you get uh you know xp as well and you can do this without actually watching any other videos you can simply uh click on the any of the you know uh, collect gems fragment task and you see it's marked on the map so you go here let's say and you once you open the, your map you will see you will see the marker you just go to the map and get the the, the things done and the final method guys where you can level up fast and this is kind of the most effective method if you want to really level up super fast but the only problem it's boring and i don't like it because it's really really boring unless you like the imposter mode and you play it with your friends as a real game it will be super boring so don't play the imposter mode if you are just aiming for xp because it will be a really really boring game uh, i don't recommend doing that so if you want to play imposter mood is really really good mood if you want to get tons of xp by just playing you, you should do it with your friends so you don't get boring while doing it so you have fun and at the same time you get tons of xp so that's all for today thanks a lot guys for watching and see you guys in the next one